No, you don't get the lava ring for this, unfortunately. <laughs> At least it's just this one little... I think it's just this and another small little lava spot. And then... It's not like Dark Souls 1 where you have to walk on the lava for like an extended period of time. Uh, what did I even get, actually? Did you see? <laughs> I was so focused on healing, I forgot to pay attention to what I grabbed. I'm gonna run for the other one. I just want to make sure I know what it is. I get. I can't leave it. Cause what if it's good? <laughs> I'll have to go look later at what it was in the recording. All right. The only thing is, I want to avoid the sludge things. If I it, if I just gun for it and don't grab the other item and then use all the Estus, I'll I'll be able to get there. Let's put on another Ring of Sacrifice first. And I don't think I have anything else. Oh, actually, this would probably help because... Yeah, I can fast roll, so... Alright. Let's go! No! Grab it! No! It won't let me pick it up! Oh, what was it? Fuck! <laughs> oh, I didn't see what it was again. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, they probably weren't weapons. I don't think they were weapons. So, if I can just look... ...to see, maybe... Hmm... <laughs> was one of them the Undead Bone Shard, or did I get that before? Um, nothing in key items. Yeah, I know. I was like mashing because he was a. Uh, he was using the or my character. Sorry, my character was using the uh, Estus like, but it wasn't going because I ran out. So I had to like mash through it. Um, I don't think it was a pyromancy. I think we had all these. I kind of doubt it was a weapon. Oh, this might be one of them actually. Maybe. I don't think we read this, at least. This lock of hair belonged to a deformed member of the Chaos Witches, mother, mothers of the art of pyromancy fashioned into a talisman. It enables the wielder to cast both miracles and pyromancies. Oh, okay. Oh, damn, actually, that's... <laughs> that sounds pretty cool, actually. I, I would use that if I weren't using the one that made my life on Scythe do so much more. Oh, you'll rewind for me? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, I'll keep looking while they're doing that. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the Hood of Prayer. That, That's a pretty cool hood. Well, let's get our other clothes back on while we're waiting <laughs> for the assist. What do we have on again? Oh, yeah, this, um, these, and then the Drang, question mark? Mm, no. Oh, no, I had the Silver Knight leggings. Yeah, there we go. Back to normal. Pop another ember. Okay, we'll head back in that direction, because there's a lot more. Uh, but the suicide run is over for now. I think there's one more coming up, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, like, a huge fan of the suicide run thing. It's kind of dumb. <laughs> but... It's also kind of fun. And it's really close to a bonfire, so... White hair talisman, that was it? I thought so. Good.
Does that do more damage if you hit the end of it? No, because it doesn't really have that much range. Thanks for going and looking, though. That's awesome. <laughs> My little helper. <laughs> oh, God. Rats. Ah, rats. Uh, oh, by the way. Uh, we grabbed that pyromancy tome off this, but we didn't even look at it. <laughs> this is, um... This is definitely, uh, what's her face? Quay... This Quaylog, the boss, the spider boss. Quaylana is the witch we just read about. And then... Fuck, what's her name? Quaylog, no, Quay... Yeah, Quaylog's the... Quaylog's the boss, but it's her sister that she's, like, taking care of. Um... Quaysilla? No, <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember her name. Um... Maybe it'll come to me, but she was, like, the sickly one. Uh, you can't see her, like, body, so I guess it's not, like, 100% that this is her, but if we know that, like, I think those two were the only spider ones. So, and then Quaylog is dead, so. I mean, <laughs> this is dead, but Quaylog disappears <laughs> when you kill her, so. Uh, fuck, I can't remember her name. Quay... Is it even Quay? Like, does it start with Quay? Quay, 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 Quay. Yeah, so it would probably have to be her, right? Uh, okay, there's the lava run. Oh, I bet you could just jump down and, like, shortcut it, maybe. Oh, shit, I almost did. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if that would work, but then like the, the amount of time your character takes to recover you could like roll out of it probably though oh, We got a big rat More rats And another sister right before Bed of Chaos. Yeah, that's the, uh... That's Quailana, the witch. Who teaches you pyromancies. Uh, yeah, and then there's the one... There's the brother, and then the sister that he's... The corpse of the sister that he's guarding. So that's four sisters. Uh, are there any more? I think this is a loser wall. Yep. <laughs> so many in this area. Did Izalith have a lot of illusory walls? I think it did, didn't it? Maybe that's kind of like a reference. Yeah, those are all the witches uh, and Bed of Chaos that I think you see in Dark Souls 1. But the intro shows them all, I think, so you could probably go and count how many there are. All right, so we gotta deal with curse frogs now, <laughs> which uh, are not as dangerous in this game because curse just isn't as punishing. But there's still a lot of them, and they're much faster. So I remember this part being a little spooky. <laughs> we'll have to be careful. I'm gonna drop attack these ones. Oh, wait for this guy to come, maybe. All right. Yep. Best thing you can do is just kill them before they uh, before they spew their their gas. Because <laughs> once they have that out, it gets harder to deal with them. There's so many in this area, though. If you just run in like head first, not knowing what you're doing, then you're gonna eat shit. <laughs> Lightning Spear is doing work now. It's doing more damage than it was. T 
Titanite scale. Oh, I was just thinking about how many I have of those. Oh, I, I think I uh, only need one more to level up my dancer weapons uh, one more time. And then after that, just a Titanite slab. So it'll be the last. But I don't think we have a slab anymore because I used it on the, the talisman. Oh, we missed an item over there. I like the illusory walls that kind of telegraph themselves like that. So if you go down the stairs first, deal with the cursed frogs, and then see that item, you'd be like, oh, how do you get up there? There must be a must be an illusory wall. I don't like the ones that are so like obscure that it's like you would have to like look it up or hit every wall, because that's not fun. <laughs> uh, Isolith Staff. Ancient catalyst of the Witch of Isolith and her daughters used long before the dawn of chaos and of pyromancy. With the birth of the chaos flame, the flame witches were at once both sorcerers and shamans. Faith adjusts the power of sorceries cast using this catalyst, and the staff also seems to boost the power of dark sorceries. Okay. Yet another item we won't use. <laughs> I remember seeing a, an animation, I think it's called like what NPC quests are like in Elden Ring, where the character goes around like collecting a bunch of faith weapons and just sighs because it's like one they can't use and throws it into a big pile of faith weapons. <laughs> that's that's what Elden Ring really is like though, I mean like, to be fair there are a lot of really good faith weapons, but oh fuck dude, I looked away for two seconds, again, Knight Slayer Zorig over here. Come on. <laughs> you need me to teach you this lesson again. We fought him before, I think he invaded us in the catacombs. Ooh, he does a lot of damage though. Easy. He has the Fume Greatsword, though. Fume Ultra Greatsword, excuse me. Uh, that is from Dark Souls 2. This twisted sword, the heaviest of all Ultra Greatswords, resembles Black Slate. This weapon, said to belong to a traitor from long ago, was so heavy that it found no owner and became a forgotten relic of history. You know, Dark Souls 2 may have been like a... <laughs> kind of like a lesser Dark Souls game, but the artists were doing their job on Dark Souls 2, let me tell you what, because this fu fucking weapon, look at this. <laughs> it's just a giant, like, slab of stone carved out into, like, a sword shape. It's so good. I love this one. I kind of wish Elden Ring had this exact fucking one. It does have something really similar, though. You used that sword? Yeah, it's a good one. If you go in strength, this is definitely one of the better, better ones, at least at this point in the game. Uh, cosmetically, I don't actually know about stat-wise, though. I'm sure it's good, but... It has 80 physical uh, damage absorb. That's really good. You could, like, block with that shit. I always loved... Oh, I never switched this out. Uh, I always loved the aesthetic of blocking with your weapon in these games. And it's not always, like, super good, because sometimes it kind of just makes you feel like, well, why not just use a shield? Unless you're really doing it just for aesthetic. Which is fine, and I have done that before, but... Um, Elden Ring it's better in, because Elden Ring has the guard counters. And I really want to... I actually kind of want to do, like, a playthrough with that. When we stream it. Uh, what else did I have on? Oh, the other miracle boost. There we go. Uh, Dark Souls 2 is a good game, although... It's least favorite Souls game, but I've beaten it. Love it still when it was miserable to play with sometimes half of your health. Yeah. I There's lots of design issues with the game, but it's not like... It's not unplayable. There are other Souls-like that aren't as good. Like, <laughs> if that game came out, like, and was made by someone else, right? And it came out as a Souls-like instead of a Souls game by From Software. I think it's... I would think it would have been, like, pretty well-received. 